Hello. In this video, we are going to learn how to add an assessment for a for an existing beneficiary at your OST center. So first, you log in to your OST center using your data manager credentials, your login and your password. You add the captcha, which is the numbers that you see on the screen. So once you are in, once you have logged in, you will see that you have a certain number of beneficiaries and they need to be uh, and we need to assess them for OST requirement. So first you go on the assessment red tab under the under the main uh, heading and then you see that you can you can see an assessment list that has all of your beneficiaries and their OST status. OST status can be pending assessment and then once you complete the assessment it will say whether they are rejected or not we will see. So for the first assessment, we will select John Doe and then under action, you can see that there is a take assessment button. So you will click on that. So once you click on the take, a, uh, take assessment button, you will see that the, the fields under uh, John, Doe's, uh, uh, John Doe's general data have been filled and then you move on to the assessment details. So the first, th first thing is assessment date, which is the date on which the assessment has been done. I will select today's date. The uh, choose drug, under choose drug, you need to, the user needs to input what drug is the beneficiary addicted to or what drug does the beneficiary take regularly. So I will select, uh, you can select multiple options. So let's, uh, I will select cocaine and cannabis. Age at onset is the age at which the beneficiary started taking the drugs. So our beneficiary is 21 years old. I will say, for example, he started taking the drugs at 16 years of age. Once you enter the age at onset, the number of years in use will directly be calculated by the system based on the age of the beneficiary. Injecting route is the uh, is whether the is whether the uh, beneficiary is injecting the drugs or or inhaling uh, or ingesting them another way. So I will say that he has not been injecting the drugs. He has not been using using syringes to inject his drugs. And then dependence is whether the beneficiary is dependent on the drugs or not. Whether he has withdrawals uh, if he if he gets off the drugs. So let's say he doesn't. And finally, uh, use in last month. Uh, this means that whether the beneficiary has used the drug in his last month, uh, in the in the past one month. So I will select yes. And then finally, if there are any complications with the beneficiary's drug use, and then uh, the complications include fa familial discourse, uh, discord, financial problems, legal problems, marital problems, and occupational problems. Or, or they could be physical uh, adverse effects on the individual. I will select physical. The next section is high risk behavior. This beha this high risk behavior signifies their risk uh, uh, risk to contract sexually transmitted diseases. So whether the beneficiary has been using needles and syringes, I will say no because they have not been injecting. Uh, have they been sharing other paraphernalia? We will say no. Uh, if if the uh, beneficiary has number of uh, sexual partners in the last 30 days, let's say one. And we also have to put in when their last sexual encounter was. So let's say September 2020. And then finally, if the uh, if the beneficiary tried to uh, achieve abstinence, which is uh, uh, abs abstaining from sexual activity, let's say uh, no. If you select yes here, then they will, uh, then a new field will open up, which will say duration of longest abstinence and number of abstinence attempts, which you can enter. Uh, let's say if, if you've said yes here, let's say duration of longest abstinence is 30 days and then number of abstinence attempt is one. Now the, uh, the, the physician at the OST center will decide whether to uh, initiate the beneficiary on OST or not. So first we will see uh, whether uh, first we will see an example of a beneficiary who is not initiated on OST. So I will select yes here, no here, and then uh, then the form will ask me for a reason as to why uh, the physician has not initiated the beneficiary on OST. The reason could be either of the 
uh, either of the ones in the drop down menu let's say uh, physical health which means that the beneficiary's physical health might be compromised if they are put on OST and now I click save. So now that I have saved John Doe's uh, assessment status on the assessment list I can see that John Doe is not eligible for OST because the physician uh, ruled them not eligible for OST and they did not initiate them on OST. So next thing we'll do is we'll try and take the assessment again for another beneficiary and this time we will see what happens when we select uh, yes to initiating on OST. So again all the details are filled in we will select the details of the addiction of this beneficiary Bankim Chandra. We will say he has been taking heroin, he has been taking it since he was 22 years old which means he has uh, been doing it for 7 years. Injecting route yes, dependence yes, use in last month yes and then complications you can say financial. The next sharing of needles yes. Uh, whether shared whether whether the beneficiary shared needle on the last occasion that they were injecting let's say no and sharing of other paraphernalia yes say yes again it asks me if i say yes on sharing of other paraphernalia it asks me whether the last occasion they uh, shared the paraphernalia let's say yes now number of sexual partners let's say two and last sexual encounter let's say in september of 2020 Finally, if the, if the beneficiary attempted achieving abstinence, let's say no. Now, uh, if the physician determines that the beneficiary needs to be initiated on OST, the physician decides yes. So once, once they click on yes, uh, uh, another uh, uh, three more fields will open up. The first one is prescrip prescription data. Uh, in the checking checkbox that says consent taken, this means that the physician needs to take consent from the beneficiary on initiating OST. Let's say the consent has been taken. Initiate date, I'll put in today's date and you can put whatever date the initiation of OST starts. OST number would be the number assigned to the beneficiary. Let's say it is this. And then what drug is needed, uh, what drug needs to be used? I will say buprenorphin and then the dosage. Now note that the dosage here needs to be in multiples of 0.2 milligram because that is the least amount of uh, uh, buprenorphin that needs to be given to a patient. So let's say 1.2 milligrams. Uh, if, you, if you put 1.3 milligrams then uh, it will throw an error. It will say that uh, please fill a valid dosage. Let's say 1.2. The physician needs to do a physical examination of the patient and needs to put in all the uh, necessary necessary body vitals. Let's say pulse rate is 72, blood pressure is 120-80, respiratory rate is say between uh, 30 to 40. Uh, weight of the weight of the beneficiary is say 80, temperature is 98. And then the rest of the conditions of the beneficiary, if, if the beneficiary has cyanosis, jaundice, edema, clubbing, let's say our beneficiary has none of the above. And then finally, uh, the physician needs to do an examination of the uh, beneficiary's body if it has needle marks or abscess or open wounds. And finally, mental status examination. The diagnosis could be one of the uh, one of the one of the conditions as described by the one of the conditions in, within within the mental status could be one of the conditions that are that are uh, present under the list the doctor can the physician can start entering the names and then a suggestion will come up let's say mania and then advice uh, the, the, the physician can also enter whatever advice they need to give the patient. Once all the details are entered, the uh, physician will click on save. So now you can see that the beneficiary Bankim Chandra has been initiated on OST. And you can see that uh, OST uh, status has been achieved for the beneficiary. Similarly, you can, you can add the assessment status for all other beneficiaries. Thank you.